Okay, so it's just going through now. Everyone's so excited for this one and I just need this so much. Oh, we're going to stretch everything out. It'll be really nice. I need it too. Okay, perfect. So we are live on YouTube. Hello, everyone. So this afternoon, guys, we are joined by the wonderful Jessica and she's going to be putting us through a yoga is it yoga flow yeah yeah we're gonna have a nice little stretch nice little stretch we know you've all been working really hard with all the workouts as well obviously we'll wait a few more minutes obviously let people filter in because we jumped the gun last time on instagram didn't we as well when we did it we started too early and um, <laughs> <laughs> we get too excited we're just so excited yeah. <laughs> So we'll wait for everyone to come in. Um, this is our first yoga our session. First yoga of the event. We had the mobility session last night, but this is our first official yoga session of the event, Ooh. which everyone is excited for. So I, I've already, I'm excited. I've already kind of pre-warned Jess if it looks like I'm having a, a seizure. And I'm kind of like... Listen, Ben, I believe in you. I believe in you. You're going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> if only be this biggest... Obviously, the only thing that's you... most for me is a lead bar. You can't be bad at yoga. Let me just say that for everyone that's tuned in. Um, yeah, do what you can, give everything a go, and we're just gonna stretch everything out and have fun while we do it, so. Sounds good. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So whenever you are ready, you can just feel- are you, in your, are you in your place? We're in our place. Are you ready? I'm so ready, I need it. Okay. <laughs> All right, perfect. So just um, however it's comfortable for you to sit, it doesn't really matter, but I just want you to close down your eyes and take a few breaths just to zone out of the outside world and to check in with yourself. Check in with your mind. How are you feeling? Check in with your body. Do you feel tight, open? Have you been working really hard? And whatever comes up, just allow it to come up without feeding into it or thinking too much about it. Just observing. And before we actually begin this session, I want you to set an intention. And an intention is something that you kind of wish that you want to pour into this practice. So whether it's patience, being patient with yourself, whether it's having an open mind, just showing up and being present. Maybe you want to push yourself out of your comfort zone. Whatever your intention is, just set it now. And slowly begin to open your eyes. Bring, the, bring yourself into a seat if you aren't already. We're going to place the right arm down on the mat and we're going to inhale, lift the left arm all the way up to the sky as you inhale. And exhale over to the right side, opening up through the left side body. Good. Inhale, coming back into the middle. Exhale, release. Inhale, right arm comes all the way up, over to the left. Exhale, lengthen through the side body on the right side. Inhale, arm comes up. Exhale, release that arm down. Making your way into a tabletop position so being really mindful of your alignment here your knees are stacked underneath your hips and your wrists are stacked underneath your shoulders pressing down through the mound of the index finger we're just going to gently warm into the wrists slightly so inhale leaning forward shoulders come over the wrists exhale sit back on the heels inhale forward exhale sit back Last one here, inhale forwards and exhale, sit back. And walking your hands out to face the side so that your fingertips are facing out towards the sides. We're gonna rock from right to left. So rocking to the right side and over to the left. Right, left, one more, right and left, beautiful. Fingertips facing your thighs. So opening up through the inside of the forearm, lengthening through the inside of the forearms. We're gonna inhale here and exhale, just sink your hips or your sitting bones back towards your heels, trying to avoid letting the, 
the palm or your hand peel off of the mat. Inhale, release. Exhale, open. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Good. Just coming back onto all fours normally on, into tabletop. You're going to bring your right hand underneath. So the, the palm of your hand is facing the sky. Just one hand at a time. And you can gently add some rotation in at the arm. If that feels good for you. Good. And switch sides. So making sure you're on your left now. And just gently leaning back. So you're opening up to the top of the wrist. Does that feel okay for you? Good. And slowly start to release. Sitting the sitting bones back down towards your heels, lengthen through the arms, coming into a child's pose here, but really melting the chest down. We're gonna exhale here and inhale, walking the hands over to the right side, Exhale, opening up through the left side body again. Inhale, walking over to the left side and exhale when you get there. Inhale, coming all the way back up. Last little thing here, we're gonna play with cat and cow and thread the needle. So <laughs> those are names that you don't really need to remember. But what we're gonna make sure we do is as we move into cow, we sit the hips underneath, so draw the belly button down towards the floor, but lifting through the chest and lifting through the head. So we're gonna inhale as we do that. And exhale, pull through into cat. So rounding through the spine, tucking your chin to your chest. Inhale. Exhale, round through the spine. Inhale. Last one, exhale. Inhale back into that neutral position. We're gonna peel the right hand off of the mat. Inhale it towards the sky. And exhale through, thread that needle, bringing the right arm through to the left side, maybe resting the right shoulder onto the mat, keeping the hips nice and high. Good. Inhale, come all the way up. Lifting the right arm towards the sky. And exhale, thread the needle. Good, we have one more on this side. Inhale. And exhale, maybe you wanna take this one a little bit further. Once your right shoulder is pressing into the mat, maybe you wanna release that left hand, bring it up towards the sky, and maybe wrapping it on the inside of the right hip. So Lucy, bend that arm and place it on your right hip, the arm towards the sky. Good, bring it through, yes, 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 beautiful. And release that left hand back down to the mat. Inhale, and right hand comes down. So we're back in our neutral position. Let's do the same on the other side. Inhale, lift the left arm, and exhale, thread the needle. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, we have one more. Inhale, and exhale. Maybe you wanna take that same variation that you did if you did it on the other side. Bringing the, wrapping the right arm into the left thigh or the hip. And gently start to release, pressing yourself back up into that neutral position. From here, we're gonna tuck our toes underneath, coming into a plank position. So straightening the legs, you can modify your plank by dropping the knees, making sure your hips don't drop. If not, coming up into a nice high plank, push the floor away from you, activate your glutes. Inner thighs are active, kneecaps are pulled up, your quads are active. Good. And from here, we're gonna lift the right leg up. So elevate the right leg. And exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, back up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale and release back into your plank. Let's do that on the left side. Inhale, left leg towards the sky. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, squeeze. Inhale, exhale, knee to nose. 
Inhale, knee to right elbow, squeeze. Inhale, and release. Exhale, press back into your downward dog. So downward dog, you want your feet hip width apart, hand shoulder width apart. Melting your chest towards your thighs, so really lengthening through the spine, tilting your sitting bones towards the sky. Maybe taking a bend through the knees to take the pressure a little bit off of your hamstrings. Breathing here. Taking a moment to observe how your body is feeling. Where do you feel space? And where do you feel tension? And begin to use the breath to create space in the areas you feel tightness. Good. We're going to inhale, lift the right leg towards the sky. Maybe it lifts just a tiny bit. Maybe you can get it a little bit higher. And exhale, bring that knee through into pigeon. So right leg coming into pigeon, flexing through that right foot, lifting through the chest, using your left leg to help you get a little bit deeper into this pose, lifting through the chest. So your, your right knee is in line with your right hip. Everything is tracking forwards. So avoiding rolling off of the muscle here, you wanna be sitting on top of that right glute. Good, and exhale, fold, melting over that right leg, coming into sleeping pigeon. I'm sure this feels really good after all the movement you guys have been doing. All my equipment, yeah. <laughs> nice, I love this. Good. And from here, inhale, coming back up into your pigeon and exhale, press back into downward dog. Good. Inhale, lift the left leg towards the sky, just like we did on the other side. And exhale, bring it through into pigeon. Again, flexing through that left foot just to protect the knee, making sure of your alignment. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Maybe noticing any subtle differences between the right and left side of the body. Good. And slowly begin to inhale up and exhale, press back. So from here, we're gonna do that one more time. We're gonna build on this little sequence from here. So we're gonna inhale, lift the right leg towards the sky. Exhale, bring it through into pigeon, flexing through that right foot again. Exhale, melting over that front leg. Inhale, lift the chest. And you're gonna roll over so that you come into a seated position, just like this, as if we were gonna fold forwards. Good. So you want your right knee to be in line with your right hip, or maybe just slightly off center, slightly out towards the side of the body. You're gonna place your right hand on the outside of your right hip. And we're gonna inhale, your arm is gonna come all the way up, pushing the hips forwards, lifting through the chest. Inhale, lift, opening through the chest. Good, beautiful, Lucy. Good, you got this. Yes, push the hips forwards, lifting through the chest. And exhale, dropping the hips down and coming into a little fold forwards. Good. And let's do that two more times now that you've got the hang of it. So we're going to inhale, coming all the way up. And exhale, fold over that leg. Last one here, inhale. Good, and exhale, fold. That was the last one here. So as we inhale up, coming back into your pigeon. So just shuffling that right leg back into alignment and exhale, pressing back into your downward dog. Beautiful. So now we have the same on the other side. Inhale, lift the left leg towards the sky. Exhale, left knee comes through into pigeon, flexing through that left foot. 
Inhale here and exhale, melting the chest down. Maybe you notice there's more space than the first time you did this pose. Inhale, lifting through the chest, rolling onto that left glute, so bringing that knee in, doing the exact same we did on the other side. Inhale, pressing the hips forward, lifting through the chest. And exhale, fold over that right leg. Inhale, lift all the way up. And exhale, fold over the right leg. We have one more. Inhale, lift through the chest. And exhale. Good. And inhale, coming back into your pigeon on the left side. Coming back into that alignment. Good. Exhale, press back into downward facing dog. So from here, we're going to play with some downward dog to upward dog, where we're going to dive forwards. So you're going to bend through the elbows, keeping them nice and close to the body. So we're going to bend through the elbows, coming all the way up into an upward dog. So coming onto the tops of the feet as you come into your upward dog. Shoulders, we want to avoid rounding them, pulling them back, opening up through the chest, keeping the head in line with your spine and your thighs should be off of the mat in upward dog. And exhale, push back, downward dog. Let's do two more of those. So we're gonna slide forwards, inhale. And exhale, press back, downward dog. Last one here, inhale. And exhale, press back. Good. And from here, inhale, right leg steps forwards on the outside of the right hand, coming into lizard. So really lifting through the chest here, your back leg is nice and straight and strong, knee in line with the ankle, and your right foot is on the outside of your right hand. Good. And stepping back into downward dog as you exhale. Let's do the same on the left. Inhale, left leg forwards. Good. Exhale, press back. Inhale, right leg. Good, let's hold this one. So maybe you wanna drop that back knee. Maybe you wanna keep it lifted. Maybe you wanna bring your elbows a little bit closer to the mat. as long as you're feeling a stretch in the right hamstring or the left hip, stay with it. Keep the breath steady and consistent. Holding the breath sends send a message to the body that it's not okay and everything is fine here. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, press back into downward dog. Inhale, left leg comes forward. So we're gonna go for another hold on this side. So whatever you did on the right side, try and match it on the left side. So if you came down onto your elbows on the right, try and come down to your elbows on the left. Of course, just listening to the feedback that your body is giving you. If you do have some imbalances between your right and left side, some of these postures may be challenging or more challenging on one side than the other. Just try and work to balance it out as much as you can without forcing it. Good, and pressing all the way up. Exhale, push back into downward dog. And we're gonna step the right foot on the outside of the right hand and the left foot on the outside of the left hand. You want your feet to be as, as wide or if not wider than your mat. Lifting through the chest, pressing the knees away. Good. Nice. Breathing here. 
So as you press and open the inner thighs, you're going to use your left hand, maybe your left hand comes down to the floor and your right arm comes up towards the sky into a nice little twist. Oh, you're doing good. Killing it. <laughs> and exhale, release. Let's do the same on the other side. So just using the breath again to create space, pressing into that right leg with the right arm. Inhale here and exhale, try and create a little bit more space. And inhale back into your yogi squat. Good. And from here, you're gonna sit down onto the mat and picking the feet up, coming into boat. So maybe you hold your knees, a step one, step two, release the hands, step three, straighten the legs. Good. Try and bring the knees in as tight to your chest as you can, really reaching forwards, but lengthening through the spine at the same time. Good. From here, we're going to tap the right leg down. To the mat and come all the way up and exhale left leg taps inhale up exhale right inhale exhale left inhale last one exhale right inhale exhale left inhale and from here we're going to lower all the way down into a low boat. So you wanna keep your lower back pressed into the mat. Your legs are lifted, reaching forwards. Good. Hold it here. Five, four, three, two, one. And slowly start to release all the way down to the mat. From here, you're gonna bend your knees into your into, in towards your chest so your feet are pressing into the mat. Lifting the feet off of the floor, you're gonna cross your right leg over your left leg, just like you're sitting down on a chair. Your arms are gonna stretch out to the side. And as you exhale, bring your legs over to the left side, coming into a little twist here. Trying not to force anything down onto the mat, looking over your right shoulder, trying to keep your right shoulder pressing into the mat. And to come out of this twist, I want you to bring your right leg up first and your left leg then follows. Good. Crossing your left leg over your right leg, coming into the twist, so twisting over to your right side, looking over your left shoulder. Good. And to come out of this twist again, lift your left leg up first and your right leg follows. Good. So from here, you can extend your legs towards the sky. And you're gonna, you guys are at the wrong, <laughs> your angle is making me laugh right now. <laughs> Down to the side, there we go. Good, so you're gonna open your legs up, just hip width apart, bending through the knees. Maybe your hands come through the middle or they come around the outside of the feet, but just pressing the knees towards the floor. If you can't quite grab your feet, grab hold of your ankles or your calves. Good, keeping your sitting bones pressing into the mat. So you want your, good, lengthening through the spine. So you want your legs a little bit wider, Lucy. Yeah, there we go. Pressing the knees down towards the mat. There we go, good. Amazing. Good. And from here, begin to bring your legs down to the mat, but keeping your feet nice and close. So we're going to take a little bridge here. So opening up through the spine. And we're going to do it two times. So the first time, it'll just be a bridge. The second time, you have the option to take a back bend. 
if that feels good for you today. So you want your feet close enough so that your fingers can just tickle your heels. And you're gonna begin to press your lower back into the mat. So tucking the hips underneath, you're gonna squeeze the knees in towards each other without moving them. Just everything starts to activate and be gently begin to peel your hips off of the mat towards the sky, rolled, rolling your shoulders in towards each other, interlocking the fingers, lifting through the chest, pressing your pressing the weight towards your head so all your weight is pressing up lifting through your chest head in line with your spine tucking your chin to your chest you should feel your glutes working yeah. good Five more seconds here. Three, two, one. And slowly, slowly start to release. And just bring your arms out to the side. Maybe you wanna like windscreen wiper your knees from right to left. That feels good for you. So the second option is to take a wheel pose or a back bend. If that isn't accessible for you, then just stick with the bridge and try and create a little bit more space. So if you are gonna make your way into a back bend, it's exactly the same setup, except your hands are gonna come behind your shoulders, pressing your fingers into the mat, roll your hips up towards the sky, pressing through all four corners of your feet and your hands, lifting your chest towards the sky, opening up through the chest, maybe walking the feet in a little bit closer to your hands, breathing in and out through the nose, no matter which variation you've taken. Hold it here. Five, four, three, two, and one, release. Coming all the way down. Again, windscreen wipering your legs from right to left if that feels good for you. And finding some stillness, just bringing your knees into your chest. Good, just decompressing the spine here. Did that feel okay for you? Ben, <laughs> you still there? I'm still alive, just about, bro. I'm just all right. <laughs> Good. We're just gonna wrap up here. So extend your right leg down and your left leg down. Allow your legs to fall naturally without trying to mold them into a specific position. Palms facing the sky and closing down the eyes if you haven't already. Eyes are soft, forehead is soft, jaw is relaxed, your tongue pulls away from the roof of your mouth. Feel your shoulders melt into the mat. All the way down to your hands. Your chest is moving lightly with every inhale and exhale. Rising and falling. Hips soft. Maybe the feet roll out to the sides. And as your mind starts to become busy thinking about what's next, try to pull it back to this moment taking this time just for you to be here fully. Maybe you're alone, maybe you have someone next to you, knowing that we're doing this all together. And before you begin to make any kind of movement, I want you to think of maybe one thing that you're grateful for. And it could be a person, it could be a thing, 
could be something you did this morning. It could be this moment now or this class taking this time for you. Whatever it is, I want you to notice how that thing makes you feel. The lightness, happiness. Allowing that feeling to completely take over your body. And with that being said, begin to wiggle your toes and your fingers. Maybe you stretch your arms above your head, making yourself as tall as you possibly can, bringing one knee into your chest at a time, giving yourself a nice hug, pulling your forehead to your knees. And gently begin to rock yourself up into a seat as you open your eyes and we finish this class. Oh. <laughs> how are you feeling? Honestly, Good. Jess, before, how anxious was I today? I just had an anxious day today and that's oh. feel like it's just been released from my body. Oh, I, I love that. I think the way we are as well. Like it's, it's been pouring down, the sun's just come out since we finished the class and I think it's just a nice, nice ending to it. I think everyone's been a little bit down and gloomy today because the weather's been yeah the weather's not been nice at all but it's so nice to like shift energy in that way I feel like you know when we can like move from our head into our body like that and get everything moving I feel like I don't know I always feel so much better after flowing like that so I'm glad that you did too amazing we have a few questions for you so would you like a little Q&A for literally like five or ten minutes okay um, um if my airport dies just let me know because they haven't been they haven't been very loyal to me lately okay <laughs> um, i want to say a massive thank you as well like it was absolutely incredible they absolutely loved it and um, someone has asked what are the benefits that yoga can do to your body in the long run so it really depends on the kind of practice that you have and I don't believe that any one form of movement can give you everything that you need. I think we need variety for many different reasons. But I think long term, physically, it can give you a lot of stability. So combining flexibility and strength and creating that balance between the two is really good for us long term. Um, and I would say the biggest benefit to practicing yoga is probably the emotional development or just diving a little bit deeper and getting to know yourself better um, whether or not you're drawn to the practice for that reason you usually get to it it has this magical way of peeling back those layers the more that you the more that you practice and the more that you go along this journey you have to confront a lot of different things you know fears and the way that your mind works and your own barriers and um, your own thought processes are challenged continuously in this practice, just like I would say it would be when you lift or when you run. Um, it's so much of it is mental as well. Amazing. Loads of people actually just said that there. Um, like that's exactly what I need for my mental state. I feel so much better. I've released so much time. Uh -huh. So obviously it does. And like I said, it's just released so much anxiety as well. Um, yeah. So, we are and I think I think you know we are energetic beings um just as much as you know we're on the go and we're moving and we're thinking and we're doing this we also feel everything and when we move our our body and our mind are always connected um and I think when you move in a way that brings them together it can really release a lot of that energy um so I think that's why unlike you know maybe some other kinds of movement this really gets in there a little bit deeper yeah. I think we had um we had a guy called Paul Morton yesterday who was speaking about uh who did a mindset masterclass and he was talking about creating a list of things that you can go to um whenever you feel like it that create instant happiness. So I think just judging by a lot of people's comments, this is like maybe something new that they've tried or something that they wouldn't have usually mm -hmm. done with happiness for them today. So I I love that. A great go to that if this has helped a little bit today or helps sort of in the future it can be one of those things that you had to add to your um, it's a toolbox yeah people say of things that you can go to and pick for when you are feeling like you need a bit of a pick me up yeah i love that 
So someone's asked, can flexibility be trained or learned? For example, if you can't already get into the splits, will you be able to learn if you keep practicing? So just like anything, it, it can be learned. Um, I do think that there are some barriers to achieving certain poses like the splits, like whether or not you um, are experiencing compression so more like bone on bone or whether it's just an inability to get into that pose because of mus muscle tension and most of the time especially with something like the front split it's to do with tension um when i started doing yoga i couldn't even touch my toes uh my split looked like a lunge <laughs> um but <laughs> but with you know with practice and time and patience and consistency and a combination of the right kinds of postures over time you can do it i think a lot of people because it's not something that can be instantly handed to you there is no quick fix just like weight loss or going to the gym and being able to lift something no one comes in with the silver platter and is like here you go and if they did you probably wouldn't value it as much because you've had to work for it it's the same kind of thing so you know i think a lot of people give up because they feel like there's this huge mountain to climb Whereas, you know, you just have to take it baby steps. And I guarantee you when you focus more on the process of developing a certain skill, the outcome will come, but it's what you kind of take on and what you learn in that process that I think has the biggest impact on your life. I think that's a good thing with anything new that we try at the moment because people are trying new skills and mm -hmm. they haven't tried before is that Pretty much whenever we start something new, we're all the same level and we're all pretty shit at it. So you're gonna get better, you're gonna get better pretty quickly, which is a nice thing, I suppose, when you start something new and you're motivated by that and you get a sense of endorphins release because you feel yourself physically or actively or mentally getting better at something because it is Yeah, yeah. And you know, we are driven by that. I think as human beings, we like to see progress. I think a lot of people don't like that feeling of stagnation in, in many ways. So it's it's nice to know when you're pouring effort and energy into something that you're getting that return as well. But sometimes there's a delay and sometimes it just takes a little bit longer to see that or the, like the fruit of your labor, basically. So if you are working on flexibility or strength, you just have to be patient. Um, so there's like three of the same question, but just in terms of, I guess, how long should beginners practice for at a time? Um, is 30 minutes a day good? Will it help me improve? So just kind of, I guess, timings if you are. Yeah. Like, what would you do? So I would say that um, quality is more important than quantity. So someone could be stretching for an hour and a half every single day and they might not be making very much progress because of what they're doing and the way that they're doing it. So it's not always about how long you spend doing something. It's like how engaged are you when you're doing it how mindful are you when you're doing it are you thinking about why you're doing it so generally like what i would advise is if you want to increase flexibility you need to be doing it at least three times a week and you know whether you have 10 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes if you focus your energy and your full concentration on that period and you're feeling the stretches your alignment is on point and you are opening the areas of the body that you want to improve flexibility in then i think you're going to see progress it's it would be kind of pointless if you're like yeah i really want to get my splits but then you're not really targeting opening those muscles so you want to make sure that you know the intention behind the movement matches what you want to achieve amazing We'll just do like one more question then. Do you want to ask that one? Okay, so we've got a question from Felicia. Um, how long? Hi, Felicia. How long have you been doing yoga for? How long should? Oh, again, That's how long good. should beginners practice for? Okay, so well, um, I think I answered that second part, but I started practicing in two thousand and fourteen, so six years ago, and I started as a way to. I used to be a swimmer. I like Lucy. <laughs> um, and when I stopped swimming, I really needed to find a way to, you know, work on my mental health. I was really struggling emotionally. And then when I started practicing yoga, I found that there was a lot more than just the emotional relief that I was kind of looking for. Um, so yeah, it's been six years. Cool. I think yes. I've got a question for you, Jess, as well, in regards to um 
I know obviously you do some training sometimes in the gym and stuff as well, don't you? Yeah. Um, yeah. How do you feel that yoga has affected? Oh, pop- that's a good question. The way that you you work out and yeah. train, and how how has it affected your training, whether it be weight training or or cardiovascular work? So, this is a question I think that I actually get asked a lot. So I'm really glad that you um, asked it because everybody is different, but I think that people that practice yoga need strength training. You need resistance training. Um, yoga doesn't have everything. It doesn't have any pull movements in it. It's all push. So it can't be a well-rounded practice without having that component in there. Um, too much flexibility is dangerous for the body. Too much strength is also not ideal. So we want to try and like have that synergy between the two. But what I will say is that I am so much stronger in my practice because I've started lifting and I would say I am able to lift more in the gym because I have better access to my strength as I have better range of movement so I can get myself into a position for a deadlift much easier than I would if I was really tight so I think it's like a it's a balance between the two but you know people are often afraid of losing their flexibility if they start weight training or worry that they're not going to be able to lift as much if they start flexibility training. And that's where it's really important that you listen to your body. Um, I would say I haven't lost any flexibility since I started lifting. I think if anything, I'm probably more flexible. I'm just much safer when I do it. So I have more, my, my body has more support when I'm going into these postures now. So yeah, that's, is that kind of answer your question? Yeah, just because I've said I deem myself as quite, pretty strong and I'm sure Lucy will but there's set mm-hmm. like within those there that like we're a lot more shaky or probably we find a lot more difficult than than you would have just but it's also a different kind of movement so it's using different kinds of muscles um just like when I started lifting I would wake up the next morning I'm like I didn't know I had that muscle <laughs> um and yoga is the same when you're working different kinds of movements or coming from a different school of thought you know like you you're supposed to shake because your body's not used to that pathway of movement um so you're strong but it's like Someone could deadlift 200 kilos, but they can't hold themselves up in a handstand because it's a different, it's a different form of movement. Um, it's like how functional is your training? How transferable is your training into other forms of movement? That's kind of what I look at achieving across the board. It's like, yeah, people are very focused on you know getting abs and looking a certain way, but it's like, what can you do with them? How can it help you move in everyday life or in something new? Um, I think yoga is a very good crossover because it really develops that mind-body connection in a different way. Um, similarly, like rock climbing, I think rock climbing and yoga are very like similar. Um, a lot of people refer to it as like yoga on the wall um, because of the similarities. So yeah, I would say that it's normal to feel like that. It just started raining so hard. <laughs> Do you know what? We've actually got sun. The sun's just come out there a little bit. I feel I- like I'm sat in a cave right now. <laughs> it's just gone so much more sunny for us. I've seen it all raining. Oh, I love that. It's just, the heavens have just opened. <laughs> That was absolutely incredible, Jess. We really, really appreciate it. And everyone Thank just- you guys so much for putting on this event, honestly. And guys, if you're still here, <laughs> um, please make sure that you go and donate. The link will be in the YouTube video, but it's just giving, am I right? Yes, indeed. Um, yeah, so, you know, Lucy and Ben have put on this incredible event um, in aid to raise money for the NHS and support the NHS through these NHS charities. So you know, whether it's 50p or a pound or maybe a weekly coffee that you haven't bought this week because of lockdown, just please go and donate. It would really mean a lot to all of us. Amazing. Thank you so much. So the live guys will obviously be saved so you can all watch it whenever you please. Where um, if people want to continue to do more yoga, Jess, and obviously pick up on some of your lives, where can they find you? At Jessica Oli. So Oli is one. On L O L I E, not Ollie. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. I would definitely recommend because everyone said that as well. Where can I get more of Jess? Did you? Oh, I love that. 
um, I think people will start more yoga. I'm definitely going to start mm. doing more yoga. I feel like it's really Your handstands, honestly, like, hello. I'm so impressed. I was I, like, hold on a second. Hold my drink. What is this? I'm trying so hard, aren't I? Yeah. But, you can tell. Amazing. Yeah, thank you so much. So bye, YouTube people.